Today is Thursday, February 25th. My name is Jen Harris. I'm the Chief of Media Services for Charles County and your local public information officer during the COVID-19 pandemic. This week, I want to begin with some good news. Maryland has seen a significant decline in COVID-19 cases, and across the state, our positivity rate has been below 4% for the past few days. That means the strategies we're using are working. Also, with vaccinations now underway, more and more people are beginning to be protected from COVID-19 infection. On Tuesday, Governor Hogan announced that our local Regency Furniture Stadium, where our very own Blue Crabs baseball team plays, has been selected as a statewide vaccination site for the Southern Maryland region. This site will have support provided by FEMA, as well as continued support from the National Guard, and the site is expected to open by March 11th and will be able to administer thousands of shots per day once it's fully operating and the vaccine supply has increased. Even as supply has been limited and winter weather has delayed vaccine shipments, the health department continues progress on getting first and second dose shots into arms and administered to all eligible residents in phase 1A, 1B, and 1C. As of February 23rd, 14,337 doses have been given and 6,784 second doses have been given. A total of 21,121 doses have been given to Charles County residents. We are hopeful that more help is on the way with the Johnson & Johnson vaccine expected to receive emergency authorization in the next few days. More vaccine will be on its way to Charles County and throughout the state of Maryland. This is welcome news. However, there are still thousands of people patiently waiting their turn to get vaccinated and more frequently asked questions that we want to talk about today. Once again, I'm joined by Linda Warren, our Health Department Public Information Officer, who's going to provide you with some updates about where things currently stand and where we're at in the process and what you can expect next. Thank you, Linda, for joining us once again. Hi, Jen. Glad to be here. Linda, let's start with the announcement about the stadium being opened as a state-operated vaccination site. Who can get a vaccination there, and how can you sign up for an appointment? Well, once registration opens up uh, for the state-operated mass vaccination uh, clinic, anyone who is a resident of the state of Maryland can sign up for an appointment to get vaccinated at this location. Um, The stadium has been identified as a Southern Maryland site to provide expanded access to vaccines to all residents who live in in this area. And as you stated earlier, it's anticipated to open on March 11th, and uh, the state will announce a link for eligible groups to sign up as soon as they are available. In the meantime, uh, residents can text uh, MDREADY to 898-211. Again, that's MD ready to 898-211 to receive text alerts when appointments are available or contact the state's call center at 855-MD-GO-VAX. Again, that's 855-MD-G-O-V-A-X for more information. Uh, It's available seven days a week in English and Spanish from 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. That's fantastic news. And so with a state-operated site, will the county still offer vaccinations at other locations around the county? Or how are you proceeding with the shipments that you are getting? Yes, the health department expects to continue to see the vaccine and will announce clinics at locations around the county. Uh, To stay informed, you can stay informed by visiting the website and ensure that if you are eligible to to get vaccinated, that you please register on the health department's website to be notified when an appointment is available to you. Now, I know the state vaccination site is great news, but it presents a little bit of a wrinkle in how people are expecting to get notified for their turn to get vaccinated. If you are pre-registered at the county health department site, should you still wait to be contacted for an appointment or should you try to get a different appointment through the state operated site? Well, if you're if you're already pre-registered with the um, South County Department of Health, yes, you can um, you can still you should still wait to be contacted by the health department for an appointment um, when a vaccine becomes available. And if you if you decide that that's not something that you want to do, you can also visit 
covidvax.maryland.gov and type in your zip code and a list of uh, vaccination clinics will uh, populate and you can pre-register somewhere else. But we encourage you to wait. Everybody has a, a waiting list. So uh, to answer your question, yes, you should still wait. You will be contacted. We're working through our pre-registration list as, as fast as we can. Can I seek to be vaccinated outside of Charles County if I'm a Charles County resident? Any individual may receive a vaccine at any time, provided that their priority group has been identified as eligible and an appointment is available at a vaccine clinic. So if you receive an email with a link to make a vaccination appointment, let's say you're on that pre-registration list and you finally get that email that says, please make your appointment and come in. Can you share that link with others? I know there's been quite a bit of confusion about that. Well, no, the answer to that is no. Please do not share the link. The link um, that is sent to you is only to be used by you. Uh, links, the links are based on the number of doses that are available, and clinics are set up based on which dose is needed, so first dose or second dose. If you share the link, then they are taking a spot away from someone else. So if you share the link, link is for you, but if you share it, someone else is not going to get a chance to get vaccinated. So it's best if you do not share the link. Now, I want to make clear something uh, that the public probably doesn't understand, and that is initially people were forwarding the emails and the links were being shared, and people were able to successfully sign up using that link over and over again. When you get an email now, as Dr. Abney shared with commissioners a couple of days ago, you will only be able to use that link once to make your appointment. So if you share it and somebody else uses that link to make an appointment, then your space will be uh, lost. Is that correct? Right. Yes, that's correct. Okay. So it's important for everybody to understand that. Finally, uh, right, are right. other are other places offering vaccinations right now? You mentioned uh, covidvax.maryland.gov could help you find other locations. How far and wide have vaccinations been starting to occur? I know initially we were just doing it at the stadium. Are there other locations that people can seek out? Yes. Well, we have local pharmacies like uh, CVS, and Walgreens and Giant um, and other distribution points for vaccinations are expanding all all the time as the supply comes or continues to increase. Um, so they uh, the pharmacies are throughout the county. So if you, you just want to want to find other uh, locations, again visit that website at covidvax.maryland.gov. Type in your zip code and you'll be able to find uh, clinics within the area. I guess the final thing we want to talk about today is the fact that the Johnson and Johnson vaccine, if approved, will only require a single dose and it could be in our supply chain very soon as a third option in addition to Moderna and Pfizer. They all have different requirements and people are wondering, can they choose what vaccine they get when they sign up for an appointment? Is that something that people are able uh, to do? And if so, how would they do it? Or if not, what should they know? Well, it is not possible to predetermine or choose which vaccine you will get for your first dose. Uh, the brand of COVID vaccine, 19 vaccine, you will uh, first receive depends on the date and location of your vaccination. So that's not really, you can't really choose. Um, the availability of a certain brand for first dose at any vaccination site varies weekly based on a variety of factors, including the state supply and allocation of doses from the federal government. I think one very important important point to know is it's important that you receive your first and second dose from the same manufacturer. So if you receive the first dose of Moderna, your second dose has to be Moderna. If you receive a first dose of Pfizer, your second dose has to be Pfizer. You should not get two different uh, vaccinations from, with, you know, from two different manufacturers. So that's very important to know. Thank you for sharing that. I know I've heard it said that the first shot you can get is the best one you can get as soon as you can get it. And so any of these vaccines works very effectively. 
and we're hopeful that when people have the opportunity to get vaccinated and they're eligible to do so, that they will seek that vaccine out as soon as possible. That's the news for we have for today. Please keep tuning in every week. We'll provide the latest information and uh, answers to your most frequently asked questions. We want to remind you as always to wear your mask, watch your distance and wash your hands. CDC is now recommending that people double mask. You can read more about that on the CDC's website for details about why that's so important. And finally, we want you to know that we always are asking our community to work together in slowing the spread. We are doing a great job and we want to keep it that way. We urge our community to stay informed with the facts. Uh, you can get that from the credible sources out there like the CDC and the Maryland Department of Health. You can always contact the health department's recorded hotline message to find out where we're at in the process of vaccinations, how to get tested and more. And that number is 301-609-6710. We also have a staffed call center at 301-609-6717, which is available Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. and Saturday through Sunday from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. The state's hotline is also available for any questions you may have about the state's vaccination sites, which are now available at Six Flags in Prince George's County, soon to be available here in Southern Maryland at Regency Furniture Stadium, and there are also a couple of sites up in Baltimore. That number is 1-855-MD-GO-VAX. That is available seven days a week, 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. They have more than 500 call takers, and they're available to assist you in English or Spanish. Visit the website at www.charlescountyhealth.org. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Subscribe to the county's daily e-news. Sign up for our text and email alerts through the Citizen Notification System. And watch CCG TV on Verizon Channel 10 and Comcast Channel 95. Please subscribe to this podcast, Charles County Government Unscripted, Inside Your County Government, or follow us and subscribe on our YouTube channel where you currently are receiving these updates. Thanks for listening today. We'll be back next week.